Welcome back to the 920 show. Did I throw you off with a different yep. intro? Yeah, yep. I thought so. Uh, welcome back to the 920 show once again. Uh, we are excited for today's uh, episode. We have we just got done with a really fun conversation. Yeah, it was uh, to be honest. actually so fun yeah. and a nice mix up. A little bit of a change of pace for the yep. people. 100%. Um, you know, we've had, a, a, you know, some, some leaders and some, uh, uh, you know, other folks from organizations around the community, which was always great to hear. Um, but, you know, sometimes you just got to go get a TikTok star. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. We got plenty of them here. Yeah, so. we do. So um, we chatted with um, Seth, big old Seth from... <laughs> <laughs> from uh tiktok he uh if you're wondering if you're on tiktok or instagram he's the dude who has been uh, chronicling his move um back in may from north carolina to green bay yep so uh some really interesting uh perspective from someone who is not from the state uh some eye-opening things about weird things that we do here in green that bay we don't even in realize. wisconsin that we don't even realize and uh what he's been enjoying about about the city um his dad was a packer fan his dad was from wisconsin is what kind of piqued that interest but mm -hmm. we'll let you get into the rest of it what any thoughts on that conversation to, to preview it katie um i think it's just cool learning about the, the, the little things that we do and we don't even yeah. realize we do it yeah um <laughs> I, that yeah. was probably my favorite part yeah i i think it's it definitely was something so much so different than what we have done in the past mm -hmm. uh in that conversation it makes me want to like go find more people who've I know. moved here and, i know like, i just like hearing their know, perspective yeah hearing their perspective was was really interesting so um and all three of us were very talkative yeah so that was a pretty long interview so we're gonna fun. we're gonna keep it quick it was about a 45 minute interview or so yep but i'm telling you it's super entertaining lots of laughs you'll learn it's a really cool story um and i i think he's gonna do well i think he's gonna accomplish his, I think his so goals too. and i i can't wait to i can't wait to see him again so thank you to to seth for coming on um did he get any video oh we should have taken a picture i, know, I didn't think about that we'll take a screen grab yeah i'll get a screen grab it's all good um but i think i saw him shooting some stuff he was maybe. taking video yeah. yeah he was yeah okay well so maybe watch for us on the, on his tiktok page yeah um but a few things to get into um been working on something really cool katie tell me all about I it. I think Nick. I told you a little bit about it off offline off air here mm -hmm. but got a call last week from the folks over at Marriott Bonvoy slash Ritz Carlton bougie bougie. I know that is pretty fancy. <laughs> um, actually I don't know if she's with Ritz Carlton. Her, her email was at Ritz Carlton.com. That's probably what people think when ours is at Green Bay. .com. Probably <laughs> a similar level of, of right, notoriety. Right, 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 right. Yeah for sure. Um but they were planning a trip for a, a, a social media influencer to come into town. Mm -hmm. And they're focusing on the Hotel Northland, which is an autograph series property uh, here in Green Bay. For those of you who are thinking about visiting, great spot right in downtown Green Bay. Yep. Um, so obviously they're going to focus a lot of their content around the hotel. Did you know there's a bowling alley in the Hotel Northland? I did know that. You did? It's so cool. Have you been there? It's What is that called? I have not been there. So... Um, I have not been there yet, but I plan to go there. Yeah. Have you been? No, I have not. But okay. I, um, I've seen pictures. Yeah. I've seen, yeah, it's, it looks really, really cool. So they're going to be doing, they're going to be doing some bowling down there. They're going to be eating at, uh, poke the bear, which is like kind of like an exclusive thing. Cause not many people know about the, the bowling alley, the bowling alley, not yeah. the poke the bear. Sorry. I got distracted. No, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. No. Um, yeah, typically I think you have to like rent the room to use yeah. the bowling alley. Yeah. But you know, obviously Coolio. they're the hotel owners so they can yeah. go and do whatever. Do whatever not they owners. They, they're the brand. They're the people. Yeah. They're the people. Um, <laughs> so, uh, they're going to eat and then they're going to have dinner at the Walnut room in hotel Northland as well, which mm -hmm. is very fancy. Yeah. It's really fancy. Very good. White tablecloth fancy. Very. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, not a place for me to eat cause I will get that white tablecloth very dirty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's why nick can't wear white shirts <laughs> exactly exactly you know, I, I think we talked about this in the interview it was like the third week in a row i've been wearing my uh that my, is a cute sweater though it is i do like it's tommy bahama that's fancy i don't know what that means i, I think it's fancy brain is it a fancy yeah. i like it shout out to ashley for that yeah yeah anyway moving on um 
but I got to plan a whole trip for this influencer who is, and they're going to be running it in like a national campaign uh, as, for Green Bay as a destination. So, I, I, so you got to plan all that. Tell yep. me like what you picked out as the ultimate itinerary for this influencer, because well, obviously she's going to be posting and sharing and all the things. So I'm sure you have something jam packed for her. For sure. For sure. I do. Um, so let me, let me just scroll down here. I want to find it um, because let me see here. And some of it is still in the works, mm -hmm. but I'll give you the, the, the lowdown. So if anyone listening wants to feel free to copy this itinerary. Good. Good. Yeah. CTA. Yeah. <laughs> feel free. Feel free. But here's what we're doing. So they are getting into town on Thursday, like evening-ish. Mm -hmm. And that's when they're doing dinner at the Walnut Room. Yep. Good idea. Good idea. Yep. So get in, have a nice fancy dinner, um, and then get some good night's sleep because on Friday we good are, day. uh, we're going to have a big day for sure. And our first stop is to get fueled up at the daily buzz. Ooh, um, we went there for dinner with those, with, uh, Jen from breakfast. Or, yeah. Breakfast. Sorry. That breakfast buffet was pretty fire. Yeah. The, uh, it has its own chef, but they're like kind of a part of like the black and tan. Uh, I, yes. I don't know. It, there's exactly, like, a, it, it's a working relationship. I think. Line. Yeah. Yeah. So the food amazing yeah. it's like buffet style but it's literally so good yeah yeah i i think they have it on wednesdays thursdays and fridays that sounds correct uh, google the daily buzz yeah google it i don't know <laughs> if you want to know for don't sure. quote me yeah so then we are walking down to uh city deck and broken spoke yep oh yeah Flex. so um talk to talk to george over at broken spoke he's gonna hook us up with a couple fat tire bikes and we're gonna do some urban fat tire biking on the fox river fox river trail um we're supposed to get like the perfect amount of snow for uh, this too, which is gonna be amazing yeah it's gonna be super i i really hope that snow comes through for this because that would be that'd be perfect then i talked to our friends over at the green bay parks department and they are gonna get a uh, trail groomed out at the uh, bay beach wildlife sanctuary so we're gonna nice. go see some and some winter animals do some hiking maybe some snowshoeing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh you know get that little outdoor winter Content. outdoor recreation vibe it'll be really fun love that um okay wait are you gonna go to barrett's creek i thought you said no uh no. not oh, this okay. i mean that would we were so we might that's kind of pending pending gotcha yeah pending snow situation oh gotcha gotcha, gotcha. yeah yeah okay um then we're uh in the afternoon this is where the sledding kind of comes in yeah. so we might be going to either baird's creek or title town depending on how things work out the snow sitch um with the snow situation and then skating as well uh then dinner that evening will be at uh hinterland love yeah, since we're right love, there love. since we're to. right there yeah you you literally know, have we're to. gonna be there why drive, you know, right. somewhere. To, and when we when you have Hinterland right there. So. Right, right, right. Uh, so very cool. Then uh, Saturday morning, Kavarna, coffee, <gasps> breakfast. Yes. Yeah. I do love Kavarna. I love Kavarna. They're, I mean, when they were asking about, like, coffee shops in Green Bay, I was like, well, you know. Immediately. The, the coffee shop you think of, you know, is, yeah. is Kavarna yep, uh, right on sure. Broadway there. So um, that'll be fun for her. Then... Um, in the afternoon, I love this afternoon itinerary, Katie. Love, love, love this afternoon itinerary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so they wanted to get, we were limited on time, but they wanted to get some brewery winery content. Ooh, fire. So guess where is both? Where? Ledgestone Vineyards and Gnarly Cedar Brewing Company. And I talked with, uh, with Adam over there. We're going to do a little, you know, intro tour to Gnarly Cedar, Ledgestone yep. Vineyards, talk about Niagara Escarpment, talk about Parallel mm -hmm. 40, the 44th Parallel. And then he even mentioned snowshoeing through the vineyard. What a cute date. <laughs> I know, right? I love that. Yeah. he Unfortunately, we've had not gotten as much snow. He said they bought a bunch of snowshoes to do these snowshoeing through That's the vineyards. Cool. So hopefully the snow comes through and we can do that as yeah. well. Yeah, that'd be cool. Then we are going to... Of course, it's Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Got to do scray cheese. Have to. Yeah. Get the squeaky curds. Yep. Get a little 100%. You know, cheese uh, cheese shop vibe. You know, it'll be a really cool shop local. Then uh, we are going to head back downtown, back to the downtown area and hit up the automobile gallery. I love it. That's for an a little awesome tour. itinerary. Yeah. So and then. Um, I hope everybody just jotted that down. Because that's a really good that's way a good to experience itinerary. Green Bay. Yeah, that's a good one. And, and there's like little substitutions you can make, right? Like if you 
like for the brewery, right? You could do Badger State, or you could do Copper State, mm-hmm. or you could do um, Def, definitely Cocoon, which is opening up, or you could do. Oh, should we talk about that? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's. So let me put a bow on that. So yeah, it was um it was really fun to to put this together. We get to do itineraries a lot. Yep. It's um, so fun. Which is basically like planning a vacation yeah literally <laughs> which is really fun so maybe we should we should do that more on the podcast we should sh- we should do talk like, about what we're planning right now yeah like itinerary sharing like that'd okay, be fun like a, a, a itinerary segment yeah that'd be fun yeah because we do i mean i do you do them anyway frequently. we just be yeah. repurposing Re-em. kind of what we've already done yeah that'd be super cool all right so your face jot low. that down pin that pin that okay moving Let's on talk about cocoon because it's like, what is that? Um, not Icelandic. Swedish. Okay. The things where you they're like little huts. Ikea? Nope. Okay. Nope. Um, they're, maybe I could be wrong. Not huts. They're not Swedish. Turkish. Something over the Atlantic Ocean. I don't really know. Something over there. Anyways. Um, and it's like kind of like a hangout, like good vibes place. Yeah. And good they, vibe trap. Yeah, so Cocoon Brewing just opened last weekend. Their soft opening was last weekend. I'm so excited. To go. I, I think we're going to go this weekend. They have like an amazing mm-hmm. menu. Yep. One of the pizzas on there is like a mushroom. What? I, I never didn't even know, know they to, did food. Listen, I don't, I, I don't, Argula, Ar, Argu, Argu, Arugula. Arugula. I never can <laughs> you pronounce that ridiculous. ever. Ridiculous. Mushroom, arugula, cheese, and truffle oh boy. pizza. That sounds. So I'm going tonight. To Are you? Yes, I'm gonna go. Who are you going with? I don't know yet. Oh. I'm gonna go make a TikTok, and record because they do the brewing. They have the little back to the Swedish thing. They have little huts outside. How do you spell cocoon? C O C, no, C A, C O O N. <laughs> they have the little huts outside where you can like chill and hang out. Yeah. And they're indoors. They're heated. Um, Ooh. flex. So it's like totally How a vibe. Are they heated? Because they're like little mini houses. Nick. Do they have an Instagram yet? Yes. So anyway, so I wrong. am it's C-O-C-O-O-N. so unbelievably excited okay, to so go let tonight. Me, I got to pull up their Instagram because I didn't even realize that they had their soft opening, which is bad on me because considering that's like my job. Yeah, they had their um, soft opening last weekend. Let me let me let me get a little feel for this this here. Let me let me see. Let and me honestly, see. their branding is iconic. Oh, look at this hat, Nick. Look at the Nick. Look at the. Um, I want that hat. That. Oh, whoa! What are those called? What are those called? Can you read Chalets? the caption? No, read the caption. Oh, some might call them Kobe, cozy. Scandinavians would probably describe them as. Oh, I don't know how let to see. pronounce this. Higgy, 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 Higgy. Maybe. Introducing our cocoons, a unique on-site yes, experience yes. for small groups curated to allow for an immersive experience. I know. What is this madness? It's like making an experience out of going to a brewing company. And I was like, oh pumped and excited God. about it. Oh, look at their cups. I know. Those Glasses. ones I would steal. Those ones I would. Uh, we talked about the ones that I stole in, in the interview already. So oh, it's all good. whoops. <laughs> <laughs> this is beforehand. My bad. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyways, this to place recommend. looks awesome. Yes. I'm going tonight. See you there. And people on the internet. This will come out Crap. tomorrow. Maybe I'll go again Friday. See you there. there. You go. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it's that good. Hey, so since we're talking about stuff opening, let's just, you know, let's just talk about stuff opening. Um, Odyssey. Odyssey Climbing and Fitness. Our friends Ben and Sam, if you remember from a previous episode, mm-hmm. they finally opened the doors. Yep. It. Katie and I went in there. It's uh, iconic. It's literally iconic. Yeah. And also during the day, you can go whatever time you want. But after hours, you have to reserve your spot because yeah. they're busy. Busy. Which is a really good thing. Yes. So and don't be confused. Odyssey is open, but yes. the the apartment complex that is adjoining it is still under construction. Yes. So go check out their Facebook page or Instagram page. I believe they posted like parking instructions. Yeah. And and entrance instructions and stuff like that. If you haven't been there and you have never climbed before, I will say it is a little bit daunting. It's a little bit daunting, but when you talk to Ben and Sam and their instructors, they make it seem like so chill. easy and chill Vibe-y. and they just want you to have a good time mm-hmm. and explore a possible new hobby and i know i'm going to check it out do we do content of us trying to climb that wall the, i think that'd be so funny <laughs> if we got one of those helmets with like the yeah. thing on it yeah yeah 
we can race each other you want to race up the <laughs> and put them side by side yeah in the real. yeah oh my word that'd yeah. be funny that would be we'll funny about it I'd but yeah go check sweating. it out odyssey we're super excited that you guys are open congratulations yes. Love it. Congratulations to Odyssey and Cocoon on their openings uh, this past week. There's just so much. There's so on. much. I know. I feel like we miss stuff all the time, and then I feel bad. But it's like, um, also, how do we even keep up? You literally can't keep up, which is good, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's great. It's So, yeah, it's keep your cool. eye out for content for Cocoon and yeah. Odyssey. You got any plans this weekend? What are my plans this weekend? Oh, you're going to you're going to a Super, Super Bowl, Bowl party. party. Super Bowl, that's right. Lots of great places to come and watch Super Bowl. Yes, actually, Stadium View, uh, a couple different places have specials going on this yeah, weekend for yeah, the Super you're Bowl. Right, so, you're right. um, even though it's not in Green Bay or not, um, the Packers, the aren't Packers playing. playing. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, we can still party hardy. Yeah. You know, it's fine. P A R T Y party hardy at DP or high. P A R T. That was a chant we did in high school. Anyway. Yeah. Did you have any like that? You were a um, cheerleader. Uh, Drop a bar, Katie. Oh, man. <laughs> we are the mighty Southwest Trojans. going <laughs> to rock your feet to our victory. And it goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, Super Bowl weekend. Get into Green Bay. Find a, a good bar. I mean, you can you can literally watch the Super Bowl at 1919 inside Lambeau Field. I mean, yes. come on. Yeah. How more iconic does it get than that? It doesn't actually. Yeah. So. So, uh, yeah, I got Maddie's last basketball tournament. Then I'm gonna have some freedom on Saturdays. Yeah. I love that for you. She's really sad though because they have too many players, so they have to rotate sitting out. There Aww. is a tournament. This is her last tournament. There is another tournament the week after, but she's sitting out and she's less than thrilled. Well, you know, you gotta play fair. You know what? Everybody gets participation my the dad in me is very like like the the dad in me mm. is like very proud that she's disappointed in sitting out because i want her to be excited and yeah and go yeah. do these things so definitely um third place at the Wrightstown tournament last weekend what up love that for you yeah yeah um all right well let's should we get into the conversation with big old seth i'm cringing what you're saying that but yes why do you want why are you cringing that's his name <laughs> i know I know. it's his name I know. it's literally in his i handle. know do you want me to call him nope. little 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 what was little, it little blonde boy little blonde boy more on that rip <laughs> okay let's get into it if you do if you want the handle it's available <laughs> <laughs> let's get into the interview <laughs> all right here's the interview with uh oh my gosh i'm forgetting his last name seth Hather. seth hatherly hatherly i just want to call him big old seth big old seth here's big old seth <laughs> Welcome into the guest segment of the 920 show. Uh, as usual, we have a very, very special guest. A little bit of a switch up from our, our normal. Mm, our uh, yeah, which is kind of nice. We uh, we welcome on Seth Hatherly and uh, maybe a familiar face if you are a TikToker or know uh, <laughs> are in the TikTok world, right? Seth has uh, yeah, gained yeah. quite a bit of following. So yeah. welcome to the show, man. Thank you, guys. I'm glad that I'm here and thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, I love the shirt. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I'm, I'm, I want to buy it. Yeah, Packers Pro Shop, Green right? Bay. Yep. Green yeah. Bay. Yep. My city. I love my city. You know, we all got uh, we all got uh, Packers Pro Shops gift cards for we did. Christmas. I know. I'm kind I of haven't <laughs> spent, I haven't either. spent mine either. yet, yeah. and like I don't know when I want to do it. It's kind of gold. I know. Right yeah. I feel like now would be a good time. Like maybe there's like some sales. Yeah. Is yeah. there some, some clearances? Going there's on? big clearance all going right. on right now. So I may yeah, have I to know. hop in there. I don't know. I just I don't know what I want. I need to plan it all out it's, mm -hmm. this is a whole it's strategic thing. it's yeah. strategic yeah. <laughs> because like when you have to think so let me give some context seth uh seth you moved up to wisconsin from north carolina north carolina, north carolina. When superior was carolina yeah <laughs> i don't know i'm going to south carolina in oh, a couple you're, months you're gonna hate it yeah <laughs> i'm biased i'm biased <laughs> no I, we're staying at we're staying on hilton head okay that's a good yeah part. yeah, yeah we're going, i was telling you about my sister-in-law when we uh -huh. she they live in savannah oh okay so okay. We're going to um, stay with them for a couple of days, then go into Hilton Head okay. for a few days. That'll then, be a good time. Yeah. The rest yeah. of South Carolina is just kind of like dirt and rubble. <laughs> <laughs> like dirt and rubble. All right. Well, to our friends in South Yikes. Carolina, I'm uh, R.I.P. You have stuff to prove. Yeah. Hey, I was a big Tar Heels fan growing up, so we'll. Oh, know. gosh. Oh, no. Duke, Duke guy? Duke guy. Okay. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm i old, uh -huh. as we've established on this podcast many times, so um, – I was a massive, massive Michael Jordan fan when I was uh -huh. a kid and like started following him when he was in college. So. Mm -hmm. That makes makes sense. North Carolina. It checks out. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's fine. Sure. Who's gone to Duke that has made a big difference at all? Nobody. <laughs> oh, okay. Katie's like, I have no we're, idea. We're not. <laughs> we'll, we won't start here on this Discover Green Bay pod. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. So you, uh, Go you, UWGB. <laughs> let's, let's pull it back. Okay. So you moved up here for a job and are actually working. Yeah. At, yeah. What is your role over with the, with the Packers Pro Shop? So I'm a supervisor for the Packers Pro Shop. Um, I got actually a promotion halfway through my time there. Congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. Got bumped up from you. associate to supervisor. Love that. Um, so, yeah, I'm working for them, and I got offered this job. I moved up here for it, but not actually, like, for it. Right. I'm using it as kind of like a segue because okay. I want sure. to work for the Packers in, in the professional sports industry doing mm-hmm. media and content and photography yeah. and videography. And so this is a way to just kind of start somewhere I saw it as. so. I love that. And yeah, like I'm I was like, saying with the pro shop, I always have to be – strategic yeah about because it's dangerous like okay so i typically go in in like the early fall late Mm -hmm. summer and i gear up for Mm -hmm. the season so i'm getting like sweatshirts jackets whatever Mm -hmm. now i have this gift card burning a hole in my pocket (laughs) so i like do i get t-shirts i do Do i get uh, yeah i know and it's just it's a struggle because there's so many different things that you can yeah. I'm just obsessed. I, you know, I would spend We have a $10,000 helmet that I'm sure if you combine your gift cards, <laughs> we'd make you, like You can make some progress. You know what I was looking at? You know what I was looking at? I, so I, I'm at my house we have a, a, a covered patio kind of thingy yeah. and then it steps down into like a lower mm-hmm. patio kind of thingy and uh technically <laughs> technically when we poured the concrete technically it's not to quote unquote code some would say the mm-hmm. step is too far down, so we're supposed to have mm-hmm. a guardrail, uh-huh. like with like just an entrance with a step. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I wanted to buy those guardrails. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the oh, my f- like, they were Man. like three thousand dollars. Yeah. No, I'll tell you what. We put them out, and we, yeah. they sold. We sold like three of them in like the first day. Really? It was wild. That's yeah, crazy. It was wild. Packers fans are dedicated. Yeah, yeah. They are dedicated. Do you want to know a fun fact? What? Um, when I was growing up, uh, they replaced the sod at Lambeau Field. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And they used to do that more often than they do now. Now they have that like hybrid mm-hmm. grass yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. So they keep it. It's like year round. It's always there. But they used to have to like dig the whole thing up mm-hmm. and 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 resod the field mm-hmm. every, you know, not every year, but every yeah. sure. four or five seasons or whatever. And then so you could line up outside of Lambeau Field and they sold boxes <laughs> of I the field. Am sure. Yeah. And it That's was crazy. In, it was it was in a box. It was like a, and it said like frozen tundra <laughs> with like icicles Sod. on the box so i would go and i would get my box of turf all the time well one of them is still in my freezer nice yeah because it's the frozen tundra it's the frozen tundra yeah Yeah. Yeah. one of them i planted in my parents yard (laughs) back home so like there's a piece of lambo field somewhere in my parents yard i should have like marked Marked, it but i didn't that's okay so yeah you can buy all sorts of stuff you can go test it get get different samples of the dirt yeah exactly do some like genealogy of the the dirt so um so seth i wanted to just kind of touch base on on you you moved up here Mm -hmm. um but you also kind of documented your journey so tell us about that decision and how that kind of yeah the brand tell us about the brand the brand the the big old seth brand Um, (laughs) 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 i try so i don't know if you guys want me to explain the meaning of big old seth of yeah oh yeah we're gonna hear of course you can't you can't drop a big old seth yeah i I mean i hate when people i hate having to explain it but i know i have to because people are like you're not like i'm 510 i'm like 570 so it's not like it's not like a checks out for anything <laughs> but in middle school I ran track I ran okay. middle school track and I was I was a pretty fast guy in, in sports I like made it in high school to state twice for the sprints and stuff and and so that was the same in middle school I was pretty fast and there was that one coveted high school track runner dude that when you're a guy <laughs> let me let me let me yeah, educate Katie real quick. I ran let track me, I no, ran track no 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 let me educate you about Male middle school culture. Are you mansplaining me right no, now? No, I'm not mansplaining track to you. I completely understand that you know me. You know, you probably know more about track than I forgot okay, go about. Off, Just look go at off. me. But there is a social currency mm-hmm. for middle school boys. Yeah. And a that currency, currency is speed. Yeah. <laughs> speed is the thing. Speed. Speed. The fastest like kid 
might as well have eight million dollars in a bank account. Yeah, no, I was he a is the king of the school. He's controlling he is, that. He is. All the little boys want to be him. Yeah. Like it's like the, he is. He, you know, if the younger grades look up to the fastest. Oh my word. The fastest, it's a. It is. I'm telling you, in PE, I kicked tail. Yeah. <laughs> People were tail. scared. <laughs> Am I wrong though? I no, mean, that is no, like. It's literally how it is. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, and go so on, yeah. me being the coveted fast kid in yeah. middle school. I, there was another fast guy on the high school. Oh, here we go. Oh, so let's go. everyone was looking up to this guy. Yeah. And one day I was doing practice. I was doing my sprints. And he looks at me. He goes, man, that little blonde boy's fast. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, you're darn right. Like, yeah, shoot, yeah, I am. So then my social media became little blonde boy. Like, oh, I, I, it was everything. <laughs> little blonde boy, everything. And, you know, when you get to be, like, freshman, sophomore in high school. That's not exactly that's the not handle really cool you want. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. People don't, yeah. That's yeah. not a thing to brag about. Yeah. <laughs> and so I needed to show people a way that I matured and grew up. So I became big old set. <laughs> <laughs> I love that yeah. evolution. I yeah. love that. That yeah. was hilarious. And now, here now, I well, so, so now for everyone listening, the social media handle, Little Blonde but, Boy, yeah, it's dead. is available. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you need it, <laughs> I'll give it to you. Yeah. you, know, you need I'll it. sell it. <laughs> that, he still got it like in yeah. his Instagram yeah. profile. <laughs> One of the Formerly profiles. known as Little Blonde Boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome that's so um you made your way up to green yeah, bay obviously yeah. you're a packer fan you sure, can tell yeah. you can tell that from your social yeah. media content how did you become a packer fan yeah. living in cell in north carolina so yeah my dad is originally from kenosha wisconsin okay, cool so he's in a wisconsinite at heart mm-hmm. and once he graduated from ripon college he made his oh, way. Ripping yeah, Ripon right. College. Right. Yeah, he made his way down to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Worked mm-hmm. there, and then made his way to North Carolina, and has been there ever since. Mm-hmm. And so, like a lot of you know sons, they take on to what their dad oh of course appreciates and yeah. likes. Um, and so I just became a Packers fan just mm-hmm. because that's what my dad loved. That's where that's he what was you from. Watched. That's yeah. what I watched. And they same, were good. And they were good. Yeah. yeah. And same thing with Duke. He went to Duke Divinity School, okay. so that's why I'm a Duke guy as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that kind of got me on this journey of always loving the Packers, and then I went to school, and I decided I want to get into the sports industry, because my undergrad was media production, yep. so I want to do sports media, mm-hmm. and I started applying to the Packers, uh, like, job board, and different right. job boards of other people, and the sports industry is kind of tough to get into. It's tough mm-hmm. not to it's, crack. It's yep. tough not to crack, and so I get this opportunity with the Packers Pro Shop, and I'm like, well, that's a really good opportunity just to start. You know, yeah. I can get there. I can be there. That's like a great starting point to get to know people and to try to yeah, network, build a repertoire build, yeah, and for sure. network and, and kind of grow as I'm there. Um, so then, like you said, I documented my journey from North Carolina to Wisconsin. And I've always made TikToks, but not like seriously. Like I was like, dur- I got on it during COVID. Yeah. Whenever. A lot of people did lot, that. Yeah. yeah. I don't, yeah. T- TikTok really took off. Yep. Yeah. 100%. COVID. Everyone was just sure. using filters and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. And, like, I never, like, took it seriously. I just thought it was, like, a fun. A fun thing, yeah. yeah. I was, like, I would make, like, stupid, like, funny. The Savage Dance. Yeah, the Savage the Dance. I remember I made a, if you go, if you, I've never deleted a TikTok. If you scroll okay. all the way back, oh, no. you couldn't <laughs> find anything. But I made, uh, it was, like, you remember that sound where it's, like, if you back it up, is it fat in there? Yeah. Like, yeah. like, yep. like yep. that thing. Yep. I made a dramatic, like, rendition of that where I was, like, <laughs> I acted like I was from a movie. I was, like, if I back it up. Is it fat enough? And like, <laughs> I was like, like that was the kind of stuff I made, like a dramatic reading. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so then I was like, well, like, I, like I might as well like make something fun. Like mm-hmm. I'm moving to Wisconsin. Like it'd be kind of cool to show people that. And yeah. I don't want to just make like a little, hey, I'm moving to Wisconsin Facebook post. Right. I want to like do something cool. So then I record my journey from North Carolina to Wisconsin. And you and drove. I drove. Yeah. The whole 14 hours. Yeah. Um, Indiana was a snore and a half because there's just flat land and windmills yeah. for yeah you know, gets, sorry it's it indiana it but. gets rough and in, in because i i've made the drive through both mm-hmm. southern indiana and southern mm-hmm. illinois and it is it is a tough one yeah. to uh Endure. to stay away yeah <laughs> no, it's tough say, yeah i stopped halfway i, I didn't do it all in one day yeah. yep. thank god because i stopped in lafayette indiana yep and I, I i brought all my stuff so i had my xbox and my things oh, so i just go. took my xbox oh, in my hotel there room and balled out for the evening um and then i finished my journey to wisconsin i posted that and it, it did pretty well like it had like 20 or thirty thousand views and i was like well that's like really cool um so then i start to kind of follow this train i'm like well since people saw that i came here i might as well 
keep posting show. stuff about yeah. being here because right. yeah. um, people obviously care about that. So I made this weird things in Wisconsin TikTok that is my, kind of my claim to fame. Of yeah. <laughs> recognizing all the things that are different to me and yeah. things that are kind of weird. I, just I think weird, that's an, I think like that whole thing, because you know what other things you see like blow up on TikTok mm-hmm. are like British people trying American yeah. things. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and that and that sort of thing. It's kind of an interesting like psychology because mm-hmm. I think it's like we want to figure out why we're mm-hmm. weird. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. like what makes yeah. us yep. what makes us different? What makes us uh, unique? And yeah. I think, you know, seeing someone f- with a different perspective mm-hmm. kind of opens that yeah. up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And it's like we can kind of make fun of ourselves, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> which is which is pretty cool. So let's uh Let's start there. Let's start okay. with the, the, the weird things in Wisconsin. Yeah. Love that. Um, Love I want to go. I want to go through the, the list and, okay. and and talk okay. about them. So I believe the first thing was roundabouts. Roundabouts. Roundabouts, roundabouts was a big mind blowing factor here. So in do you have none in North Carolina? No, we have them, just not okay. in capacity that Wisconsin <laughs> does. So what about the multi lane roundabouts? No, that, I've never heard. Four seen lanes. That in my life. Four yeah. lanes. Four lanes. No, <laughs> never. <laughs> like, so what, explain to me your uh, your your mindset you're in your car and you you come to one of these multi-lane roundabouts what are you what's going through your head? No, I'll tell you i went luckily i had my gps telling me like what to do okay. but like but like i like saw like i was approaching my first roundabout and it started to split off and i was like what what the hell like do i do because like, i'm like i want i know where i want to go yeah i just don't know how to get there i hate <laughs> on the gps on roundabouts how it tells you like First exit, second yeah, exit. Yeah, like, no, God. just, like, tell me right, straight, or left. Yeah. 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 Well, now I'm sitting there, like, now I catch myself counting the exits. I'm like, oh, wait, one, two, oh, three. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You're like, wait, is the third exit left? Yeah. Or is it, which direction are yeah. they coming And if you accidentally from? get into that inner lane, it's game you're over. Done. You're it's done. game <laughs> over. <laughs> you're, you're just going around You're just going. You're just going around. look like a fool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I tell you, the roundabouts, like, and then you hit ones that are, like, four in a row. Like you're just like, oh, like I'm you're just like whipping that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got your one hand at, yeah. at twelve o'clock, and you're doing the Taylor. Drives right turns. through the middle yeah. of all of them. I, t- I come from a very small town in North Carolina, and we like okay, so the population is three like eleven or something like that. It's very 300? small. Yeah, like three hundred. Oh, wow. And so I was like, no, like, it's that, like my graduating thousand. class. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the county itself is ten thousand, so it's very very small. Okay. They put in a roundabout in the middle of our town, and I'll tell you what, people were more fired up about that than I, anything that letters they, to they, the they, editor they're like this is ridiculous <laughs> call it into local radio yeah. shows can you believe they put this on about it? <laughs> um, pretty, uh, the, the, that was the closest thing to like an insurrection I think I've ever seen <laughs> 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 oh, Storm the roundabout. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so what was what was number two? I'm I'm spacing. I'm sorry. What's the next? I one? mean, honestly, at this point, I've posted so long. I don't fully. I remember there being like kind of like here. Let's look it. Well, up. Might as well look it up. Yeah, but yeah I remember there being kind of like you euf- like phrases. Yeah. Like oh, here um. Okay. Now here we are. Yeah. Here you go. Uh, oh, you know what? We should drop the at. Oh, you did. At yeah, at yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it, get it right, guys. No, no little blonde. Boy. No little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, here's an NC greater than LSC. All right, I've got, right. I've got it tagged at the top. Oh, you have it pinned. Yeah. Okay, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Uh, that right here. There we go. Yeah, that's okay, why we don't so let let's go. Let's do this. Would you please <laughs> <laughs> play the video? Let's go. <laughs> Would you please? There we go. Really weird here in Wisconsin. All right, so, so we'll just pause it as it comes. Sure. Sure. In okay. So the first thing I've noticed is that they're about a million and a half. Right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I love this yeah. place. <laughs> <laughs> <Whipping it. laughs> yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. What are the words? Yeah. What are the words? Verbiage. I mean, like, so. I don't know. I feel like it's hard to pinpoint one, but like whenever people want to like, you're sitting around a table like at like dinner. Yeah. Everyone's ready to go, but no one's willing to say anything. The Midwest goodbye. Midwest. Well, I suppose. It's <laughs> <laughs> not never everywhere. Even I, said that. <laughs> I suppose. Oh, I do. Says. I'll just be like, all right, I think I'm gonna go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like I do that still, and my friends are kind of like. What's his problem? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. What do you mean? That is so funny. Oh my word. Have you gotten roped into garage beers yet? No, okay. I've not. No. Okay. I've, 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 we'll have I've, to introduce you to that. Yeah. yeah. Um, did you know what Booyah was before you I came did not, to Green no, That was very. I've only had my first batch, if you will, of uh-huh. Booyah, probably like a month ago. Okay. And it seems like it's similar to like a stew. 
It's a chicken okay. stew. Yeah. 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 Yep. yeah. 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 It's it's I so you got to go check out the Booyah Shed on Ashland and okay. 9th. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, they have a chicken you squeeze mm-hmm. if you like the Booyah and it. Uh huh. Like, like one of the rubber chickens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What do you squeeze it for? Good service, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah they have great Booyah, uh-huh. but they're also like a, a food truck. You know, mm-hmm. see them around at events. They have some uh-huh. really good stuff. But I grew up with Booyah parties. All my birthday Booyah parties, parties were parties. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Booyah parties. Dude, <laughs> they were huge. I remember my parent. My mom listens to this. She's gonna kill me for saying this. I remember at some of our summer Booyah parties, they would walk around with like margaritas and super sho- soakers and like shoot them into people's <laughs> mouths. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's dude. iconic. Yeah. <laughs> That's Wisconsin. And the biggest, (laughs) the biggest, the more fun party was the night before. We called that the Mooley party. Okay. And the Mooley party was when you cut up all the veggies oh, and yep. the chicken yep. so you could start 100%. the booyah early in the morning. you got to start it at like 5 a.m. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. yeah you got to start thing. it super wow. early. It's like a long, like, all-day process. Yep. And, yeah, we had booyah parties. Man. That sounds like a party. Yeah, it was <laughs> so much fun. All right, what is some other verbiage? Well, I think the, the thing that, like, kind of triggered me to, like, realizing that was working at the Packers Pro Shop. Yeah. And hearing people say big. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like I don't even I don't even hear it. it. I say I know I say it. Like people yeah. always tell me I say hey, bag. Would you like a bag. Yeah, I and like I'm like I don't know how to change it though. <laughs> yeah. what am like I what am I supposed? To how say? is it supposed to sound? A bag, 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 bag. Because I mean, like you can bag. hear another word bag. too. It's like tag, or like swag, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and maybe I exaggerate a little bit. I'm, not, swag. I'm very bad at doing a Midwestern accent. I tell you one. One day at the pro shop, I was doing the closing announcement for like, hey, we're like closing yeah. in like 15 minutes. And I decided I was going to do it in a Midwestern accent. Oh, I boy. Give, I was going to give my try <laughs> at it. Did you get roasted? Well, yeah. I was, my, uh, my superiors were, were like, never do that again. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I was like, attention Packer fans. The Packers pro shop is closing in 15 minutes. Charlie Barron's comes yeah. to do it. <laughs> and they're like, they're like, are you being Australian? <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. I mean, yeah. What, what about I mean, we always get ope or ope. say ope. All yeah, I feel like I feel like generally there is like a filler word for like when something like you bump into someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like Midwest is ope, and I've always said like oh, like oh, excuse me. Like, yeah, yeah. So, I, that's valid. So since like you know the whole was you know people talk about you know not just yourself but mm-hmm. other people on TikTok, social media talk about like weird Wisconsin words mm-hmm. and that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. I in the last like three years have realized how much I say Ope. Ope. I say it <laughs> yeah. all the time, dude. I say it so much more being around you all the time because mm-hmm. you say it a lot. I say it all the time. Yeah. And you know, in the same vein as that, there's also, oh, let me squeeze right past Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me squeeze by there. Yeah, I was just going to squeeze right there. That's hilarious. Yeah, I know there's, I mean, there's, I think, you know, I just mentioned Charlie Barron's does a great job mm-hmm. of like highlighting yeah. that. Yeah, he does. <laughs> like, uh, it's funny. All right. I'll tell you, I, I knew Charlie Barron's before I moved here. Which, oh, really? Which was kind of my introduction to Midwestern yeah. culture. I remember seeing him on my kind of feeds when I was in North Carolina. Yeah. Which is interesting. And then actually coming here and being like, wow, he's like, not exaggerating sometimes yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's this is like reality. Reality. Yeah. <laughs> my uh my favorite one of it from him recently was he did something with uh uh the holderness family mm-hmm. from california they're the ones that write they wrote they write like the funny songs about their family mm-hmm. and whatever oh, yeah. and it was a midwest pickleball uh <laughs> tournament and that like is the, pretty rampant around the, here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. and they, the the California couple shows up and they're like all into it and stretching and have fitness yeah. gear on. And <laughs> then Charlie and his wife have a bloody mary in one hand and a, pickle, <laughs> and a pickleball paddle in the other, and they just start wasting them. <laughs> <laughs> it was the That's best. So, true, so bloody marys are something I can't get behind. No, no. Oh, I love. I can't bloody do marys. it. Oh my like God. the just I don't know if it's a texture or the tomato. Okay. Base it sounds like it, you like, haven't had a good one. I don't know. Have like, you had a poor man's Bloody Mary? What's that? I don't yeah, even no, know what that I'm is. Not familiar with that. With beer instead of vodka. Have you had a so. Bloody Maria? <laughs> no. That's tequila instead of vodka. Oh my word! <laughs> I, had a, I, I went to Mexico not so long ago, and I had a blondie. What's uh, that? A blonde Bloody Mary. A blondie Mary, I think is what they called it. Okay. It's like a, instead of tomato, it's like a mango base. I could. That they I, I could get, get behind down, that. I could get down with that. I didn't what, like it, what toppings are in it? Is it still vegetable? Well, I, I told them no toppings because I think that's the biggest turnoff to me in really? Bloody Marys in general. I love I don't like, that. I don't like vegetables, so maybe it's just my oh, problem. Oh, my word. You're one of those. Well, <laughs> you know I like what? celery. And that's about it. <laughs> Mainly because it's water. <laughs> Let me show you something. Oh, my word. Oh, yeah, the Andusis one? Yeah. yeah have so you seen the Andusis one? I have not seen the Andusis one. 
my god, that's insane. <laughs> so what we got here that's a burger. for for, <laughs> for YouTube? Burgers. There you go. This is Anduzzi's ultimate Bloody Mary. This is actually this um this article about it is one that we worked with them to get posted with some influ or for some travel journalists uh-huh. that we were working with. Anyway, there is a olive mushroom and sausage field goal post and the posts are cheese right (laughs) right there then you got uh mini slider right there which is like you know obviously just like your regular slider burger then you got your chicken wings of whatever variety you want then you've got (laughs) meatball skewers with peppers and onions right yeah and then this one down here that's a that's a buffalo chicken sandwich that's right an there amount of food. then you got your <laughs> then you got your shrimp cocktail kind of hanging over the glass and then these are our uh, our mini corn dogs wow it's a whole thing and it comes with a little beer too oh the beer the chaser, chaser. <laughs> yeah, oh that's a beer. thing oh yeah yeah, yeah. Staple. yeah you get a bloody mary and then you a get a beer served with it oh my gosh yeah it's a beer chaser because yeah. you know they can get spicy yeah <laughs> maybe that's what, I also don't like spicy things. Maybe that's okay. Awesome yeah, we're going O for on Bloody yeah. Marys. I, mean, I just I just don't think they're for you. No, and, you know, I'll tell you what. Old fashioned people also. I do like an old fashioned. There you go. I've had the Wisconsin style old fashioned, yeah. and then like regular old fashions. I'm not a big fan of old, regular ones like in other states how yeah. they do them. Mm-hmm. But I like the Wisconsin. So the inside. other in other states, it's like pure booze. Yeah, it's like they put the bitters in. Yeah, and they put a little fruit in, and then it's like just straight whiskey. Mm-hmm. Over ice. Why is it spicy? Yeah. Why is it spicy? <laughs> <It's> spicy. <laughs> um, but yeah, here we do the the. the I always get it. Um, I don't. I don't love brandy, which is a very not Wisconsin thing mm. to say, but mm. it is what it is. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> give me. Give me. Uh, give See, me I don't a, like beer, and that's a very not Wisconsin yeah. thing to say too. Well, you know, teach their give own. Give or take. Yeah. So I go whiskey, old fashioned, and then I go press. So it's half Seven Up and half. Seltzer water. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of calm it down a little bit okay. with with mushrooms. Yeah. I've with never had an old fashioned. You've never Whoa. had an old fashioned. I'm not a. Whoa. I know not you're not a like a big drinker or whatever, drinker. but <laughs> you got to try an old fashioned. I know. I don't think I could handle it. It would make me. Like you could do <laughs> no, no, no. You could you could definitely do a Wisconsin old fashioned. I don't think you could. Yeah, do, they're very they're much sweeter. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I. You just could like, do a Wisconsin. Old it's it's more like like a, a old fashioned like somewhere else where mm. they make it with just the whiskey. It's more of yeah. like a. A spirit, yeah. I would say yeah. this is like a this is like a mix. Yeah, cocktail. mixed drink. Yeah, yeah. mixed drink for sure. All right, moving on. <laughs> okay, that they have here. So the word that's probably most notable to me is the word bad. Yeah, ah, yeah there, there you go. go. Yep, exactly. People get really upset when I say that too. <laughs> I like, we don't speak like that. No, okay, okay. <laughs> so let me tell you why I think that's the case, and I think Katie, you'd agree with me. I don't hear it. Yeah, yeah. yeah what I, you I truly you're don't. used to it. Like what you are yeah. saying when you say when you mimic how mm-hmm. we say it, mm-hmm. and I know we do, mm-hmm. but when you mimic how we say it, I don't think I say it yeah, that way. Yeah. So that's why okay. that's why I think people get pissed because they're like, I do not say yeah, it that way because yeah. they can't hear. They it. don't hear it. We can't you hear know, it. You get so used to it. After a while. Oh. I'm sure I say things too that y'all are probably even like on y'all. To. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I yeah. That's like with the bag thing. Um, like even Deegan, he lives in like kind of like southwestern Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, he notices I say stuff more yeah. Wisconsin than he does, yeah. which is like I don't think so you crazy. or I have a really bad. I don't accent. think so. Either. I don't think so. Um, like more north you go, though, the yeah. worse it gets. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's because that's because people get confused a lot of times. I I believe with a Uper accent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I fought my entire life. My mom's a Uper, <laughs> and she. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah it is crazy. <laughs> which that should just be Wisconsin, by the way. All right. Did you know that the UP was won by Michigan in a war between Michigan and Ohio? I did. I did. I remember I made a TikTok about that one time because I was like, Wisconsin, let's go claim this. Yeah, let's go get I looked, it. I looked up the history. I'm like, it doesn't even involve us, but like, we need it. Yeah. <laughs> it's ours. Exactly. <laughs> we deserve it. Exactly. I'm not even from here, but I, yeah. I'm, I'm willing no, to No, I'll tell it. you what. More, more people are fan. Like, when you talk, you know, as much as sports fandom defines your regionality mm-hmm. right which we know is not always the case uh-huh. yep. um there are a lot of packer um badger brewer bucks fans mm-hmm. there. Yeah. yeah yep all right next thing people say here a lot is like no kid no, 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 yeah. no kid oh shoot, <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> believe it or not i've even heard a few holy smokes <laughs> <laughs> holy smokes <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see Okay. Take up the rest of the airspace, and then it's mosquitoes, and just these white 
fluffy. <laughs> The summer snow, I've learned, is what that is. Okay. <laughs> He's <laughs> mis- <white fluff>. We <laughs> have mosquitoes and mystery fluff. Mystery fluff. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be cottonwood. Yeah, 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 yeah. But true. I mean, yeah. That, yeah. that is valid. I, remember I came here, I was like, what the world's going on? <laughs> is it snowing in the <laughs> summer? Like, they I'm weren't like, lying about is this, this weather. pollution? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are these spores? Can I, can I breathe this in? <laughs> like, I, I was wearing my mask <laughs> just for that. Not even for, not even for code anymore. I was like, I can't breathe anymore. Have you, watch, have you been watching the the last of us at all no oh, okay. no not, yeah, they, not they breathe in spores oh okay <laughs> and that's how they become like the zombie the, the zombies yeah, that's, gotcha. scary. that's scary anyway it's so good it's so good i i've i've not played the game because i'm on xbox so yeah i've not gotten to play the game but the show does look very good dude pedro it's, yeah yeah pedro's the yeah. yeah 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 <laughs> all right you don't have mosquitoes in North Carolina? Well, we do, just not in this capacity. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's isn't like North Carolina, like, isn't there a lot of, like, marshy water there? No. Is North Carolina where the Outer Banks are? Yes. Good show, too. But it's that show is based nothing on what the actual state is like. <laughs> by the way. like it's, it's actually, actually in the Bahamas. It's actually insane. Like the, the, they, they said, like, in the first – I didn't watch the show because I'm like, this is so stupid. Yeah. And not a good representation of who we are. But uh, the first season, they said they take a tugboat from Chapel Hill – to the, the coast, yeah. there's not a single body of water or, or river or creek them. that connects any part of that. And like there, You can't get there in any avenue. That's hilarious. And, <laughs> like, I don't know who's taking yeah. a, a ferry boat. Well, you know, I mean, that <laughs> 70s show doesn't exactly do us justice. No. no. Oh, yeah, no. I guess that is based yeah. off here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. And actually, in the, the reboot of it, the that 90s, that 90s show, 90s. I saw a few screen. I haven't watched the show yet, but I fa- saw a few screen grabs where they like – the family had pictures of Lambeau Field in their, like a picture of Lambeau Field mm-hmm. in their house. Obviously, they're, they're Packer fans. And it was like an aerial of the stadium after it was renovated, and the renovation <laughs> happened in like 2001. That's, that's <laughs> oh, my <laughs> word. <laughs> like, they do their small. research, yeah. clearly. Yeah. All right, should we see? Do you, is there more? Yeah, there's two more. Okay. Right, five. Let's do it. Might be the official bird of the state of Wisconsin. Yeah, it could be. It's a robin. <laughs> yeah, the robin. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've even seen a robin since I've been here. Really? Yeah. When'd you move in May? May. All right, one more. Water towers. Yeah, water towers. That's what it is. Yeah. Let's get into this because I love the water towers. (laughs) I think they're so. You don't have those, and it reminds me of Animaniacs. Just not in this capacity. (laughs) (laughs) Like I feel like. I, I've people have explained to me they're like kind of landmarks of little towns yeah. and stuff. And yep. water towers do not hold actual water. They do, uh, they don't hold. They it. pressurize. They the pressurize water so it. They can yeah. Go. Um, and so I just thought it was Katie's like, learning intimate. something. Yeah. And now it makes sense to me because <laughs> yeah. the land is so flat. Yeah, you got to get the water to. up. Like for me, I grew so up. So then the gravity brings it down yeah. and pressurizes yeah. it through. Yeah. And it pushes it through. Wow. Time. Yeah. Mm. That was something that also people yeah. were coming at me. They're like. You don't. Th- how do we get our water? Like, where, you th- where do you think we store our water? Yeah. Like, I'm we don't like, store water in those I'm like, people. Yeah, they're yeah. yeah. So now you know. Who but, thought of that? Yeah. Who came up with that idea? Someone, That's uh, a smart idea. The Egyptians. And I Egyptians. thought that water towers did hold water solely because aquamarine. The they <laughs> store the mermaid in a water tower full of water. What words are you saying right uh, isn't now? That H2O? The movie Aqu- Oh no, sorry, I thought it was H2O. It might be H2O. I've not seen either of them. I just like the. I don't know. The it's quotes. about a. It's about a mermaid, and they they store her in the water tower so she doesn't die. Well, she would have probably died in. So I blame water that. Tower. <laughs> so I blame that for me not knowing that they don't store water. Yeah, but you're right though. The water towers are definitely yeah. like little landmarks. Um, for four towns and yeah. they paint them and they yeah. look cool. It's a whole thing, yeah. yeah. And there's not a lot in North Carolina because at least in when you get to the middle and west side of North Carolina, it's all mountainous. So like we okay. don't need. Yeah, you don't need the, to pressurize it. It, it naturally you know, yep. flows down, yep. down like mountains and stuff, so we don't need it. Katie's mind I'm is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's. So um, let me see. How can I explain this? Okay, so the lake, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's sea level. Yeah. Our city is right next to that. Yeah. So water flows from high to low. Mm-hmm. So you need to somehow power that water mm. into the treatment facility. To get Get pushed out. That's the craziest thing. Up to the water <laughs> Who tower. Who thought of that? The Egyptians. <laughs> I'm joking. I have no idea. Yeah, Seriously. They seem like smart. Me I'm like, how did you know that? <laughs> you said I, it twice now. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. I, 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 I mean, know. they invented irrigation. I know that. 
Yeah. That's true. They yeah. did. I yeah. learned that. In, um... So maybe but the aliens did help them. So yeah. Oh, yeah. for sure. For sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. There's no doubt in my mind. About that. <laughs> Let's not even go there. Just... <laughs> anyway. Okay. So I think that was all five. Yep. Um, yeah. But yeah. So let's. Um, outside of those five things, uh-huh. what has it been like these past? Uh, we're Since coming up on a year yeah, now. Yeah, getting close to a year. Like, yeah. are yeah. you are you feeling part of the community? Are yeah. You, so... Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I've been. I I don't think I, I think this is a good winter. To yeah. start off with, because people are like, oh, this one's not that bad. January, it was very, it was, we didn't see the sun much, but it was mm-hmm. very warm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is Which another is thing nice. I've noticed. Like, it's always overcast. In the winter, yeah. 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 It's kind of a little dreary. Um, in the winter, I mean, specifically January, and I have to say this year, mm-hmm. there was even, I think, um, the weather people, uh, the what are they called? Meteorologists. Meteorologists, yes. Got it. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> Um, they were even like posting yeah. during that stretch of when it was pretty overcast yeah. that this was like unprecedented. Really? But okay. it does, it is, it, it can be a little gray mm-hmm. in the, you know, in the middle of winter in, mm-hmm. in January. But, um, you know, one thing that I've always noticed is the clearer it is in January, the colder it is. is yep. it? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So okay. like if you get like a clear, clear, sunny day, it's probably going to be like minus Freezing. 20. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Nothing for you. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But I feel like I've like been adjusting pretty well. Yeah. Like I've always been a fairly independent person and this mm-hmm. is the biggest like kind of independent move mm-hmm. I've had in my life. And I've been lucky to have met some really nice people throughout like the pro shop. Like I have similar aged people working yeah, there cool. so that's been really nice and um i've been able, i've not gone home yet since oh I've really moved yeah because wow. you know airfares airfares crazy. coming out of green bay it's very expensive yeah. i've learned mm-hmm. yeah um but i feel like i'm really in doing my best to embrace the being area. a part of the city yeah. and joining in my new community um like I, I love going to the gambler games those are a lot of fun. gambler games Ooh, are gambling. fun yeah, yeah, yeah they, they are fun. a lot of them yeah this year. they're good too yeah. and did you know um are you i'm assuming you're a hockey guy i do yeah i'm, okay, I'm a so, hurricanes guy at heart okay so tampa bay lightning uh-huh. their coach oh, yeah, john I cooper that, yeah yeah he, he coached at the gamblers, gamblers yeah, yeah yeah he yeah. was a great coach they were winning championships with him man he's nice. a great he's a great coach but yeah they're, gamblers games they're are a lot of fun i love every time we score I just start yelling, I love my city. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then funny. we have Blizzard football season Blizzard, yeah. I out. actually yeah. am going to be working for them. Oh, uh, sick. Starting, media? Yeah, in media. I'm doing cool. photography and uh, marketing. Oh, that's, that's awesome. awesome. So, yeah, I, I have a, I, I'm using this as another opportunity to be proactive and Get yeah. getting yeah. towards my goal of working with the Packers and, and their full-time media. So, yeah. I, that's awesome. So I, I didn't know that Wisconsin had, or Green Bay had a – indoor football team yeah i've never like seen that sort of thing or... yeah have you been so i forget when their season is do you remember i believe it's, it's in the spring right yeah it's about to start yeah to did start. you so did you get to any blizzard games in, no when i did you not them? i okay. think i i don't think i knew that they were around i think then. you said may right yeah i think that's like end like the, right end, the end of their season okay. yeah i think it goes like into maybe into may a little bit yeah i'd have to go on their site to verify yeah. you'll be able to tell me mm-hmm. in a few months Liz, yeah. our yeah. office went last year she said it was so fun yeah, yeah. i'm they, excited they seem really like interactive yeah. yeah they like yeah i mean with the you, you don't get football with a hockey viewing yeah. experience yeah. very yeah. much Seriously. where you're like right on the yeah. board you're like on the side yeah and i'm excited from my job perspective i'm excited for the opportunity to be like really close yeah you know, literally like, on, get, the like, on the sidelines <laughs> yeah kind of like footage and, and pictures and stuff. that'll be really yeah, cool you'll awesome. have to send them our way yeah. we'll be happy to share yeah. them we have it we actually have a great partnership with with the blizzard, blizzard yeah. we do a membership trade out so uh yeah. they nice. put uh, ads in our guides yeah. and yeah they're they're a great partner and that's awesome a little hidden gem in the community yeah, for sure. if mm-hmm. you're looking for family friendly entertainment mm-hmm. when you're in town it's mm-hmm. a great it's a it's a great thing yeah. to yeah. to check out um all right so other thing i noticed on your page you put your top concerts of the year. Yeah, I, I did. have to say you're number one. I went and saw John Mayer last did year too. You? Yeah, yeah, and it was awesome. He's so good. Oh, dude, you said you put the guitarist of our generation yep. in the he, caption. He is, and I've been preaching that to people, and they look at me like, "What are you talking about?" It's so true. It's people ridiculous. don't realize. Like once you like watch him actually do it, because he doesn't do it's it on insane. his albums. No, he like doesn't. he like he he kind of plays to the algorithm a little bit yeah. on his albums yeah. where he's like doing just. Mm-hmm. You know, normal like yeah. you know, indie rock, slow rock kind of yeah. stuff. But when he gets on stage and starts jamming, just it's going. crazy. It's insane. He, I've seen him twice now. Yeah. I saw him once in Nashville, which was that must insane. Cool. He brought out Chris Stapleton. It was actually really cool. They sang they, like he told the story about 
they were going to bring him out, uh, Chris Stapleton. He's like, do you want to sing one of your songs, Chris, or one of my songs? And then he's like, well, how about we just write a new one? And so they wrote it the night before in, no in the studio. They sang it at that concert, and, nev- like, they've not, like, recorded it or done anything with it ever again. So, like, oh my they, God. they have, like, that – I have the exclusive footage. Exclusive. Of, <laughs> of that, that concert with the exclusive song never released. That's so That's, cool. That's insane. That's pretty damn yeah. cool. That's – So, wow. you made the segue perfect for me because Chris Stapleton is not – I wouldn't say country, right? He's more like folk. Yeah, I would I would kind of drive him. Okay, folk. and you're, you're – would you consider North Carolina to be part of the South? The yes. Southern state? Yes. Okay. Is it weird how obsessed people are with country music in this area? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about that. I was like, I wasn't expecting people to really like country yeah. music around here. Yeah. And like, there's certain people who what are like. What did you think we liked? Well, I, I don't know. Like, you guys like the polka stuff. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he said polka. <laughs> in heaven, there is no beer. Oh, my God. That's why we drink it here. Oh, there we word. go. That's See, you know, and That's I just, rough. this isn't like a country type place yes, yes it is exactly yeah, it I, is. I don't think Thank i think because so much. i think there's, there's agriculture and there's farms but that's different than living a like country thank you <laughs> i feel so damn validated right now i feel <laughs> so validated heather, heather come back <laughs> we've interviewed heather last who, week yeah was that two last weeks ago week? was it two weeks whatever whatever Anyways. it was <laughs> she um she's the she works for the children's museum for her full-time job mm-hmm. but she um she has a radio background and she um, subs on Y one hundred, Y one hundred, the country okay. station. And these two <laughs> came at my throat because I am not a country music fan. And okay. I said, well, "Here's one of my biggest problems. I don't understand why you guys like it. <laughs> They're singing about the South. They're singing about like back roads and cowboys and um, what else? Drinking beer, all stuff we do here. There's okay. farms and corn. All right. It's all here. No, Tractors. We don't, <laughs> we don't need to rehash this conversation, but I just want I just want you to know, Katie, that I'm You're feeling very from, valid. From the southern <laughs> perspective yes, yes. of me, I'm feeling Middle Seth. Very, I very have to say, I don't validated. I don't get it. But. So let's uh Seth, that was rude. <laughs> <laughs> Big old Seth on my side. Let's go. Big, oh my word. I'm over it. Whatever. Um <laughs> So I want to just we can we can wrap up here. We're coming up on uh, this has been great. This has been yeah, super been fun. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, definitely um, a mix up of what we yeah. normally do. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah you, people are got people got to be ready for a little bit of a, a change up from our normal. Yeah. We had the, no, it was two weeks ago with Heather because we had the mayor on. <laughs> <laughs> we had the mayor of De Pere on. Uh, Straight Oops. backs. Yeah. A little switch up. Yeah. A little switch yeah, up. Yeah, very proper, <laughs> prim and proper. I was wearing a tie. Oh, no, nice. No, you weren't. <laughs> uh, huh? You probably had on that sweatshirt. You I like think, to wear it on Wednesdays. I Nick think, wears that like every Wednesday. Think, <laughs> if I go back on the YouTube channel, I think I've been wearing this for the last three you Wednesdays. Have. Three. You have. You yeah. have. Uh, yeah. It's all good. I want to talk a little bit about um, one of the biggest things that we found in like learning about tourism and and why people visit mm-hmm. the area. Obviously, people come for the package, mm-hmm. but what we learned is people spend a lot of time at our restaurants and mm-hmm. breweries and Ooo, stuff like that. Were you I'm surprised yeah, at the food this. scene yeah. around here? The food's very good. It's very good around here. I do enjoy it a lot. I think I wasn't expecting – well, I don't know why I wasn't expecting this because it's Wisconsin, but I wasn't expecting like all the breweries and taps and, and kind of dive yeah. bars and all that stuff, but I didn't think that they would come accompanied by like the food because down south if we have a, like a brewery like it will come with food but like a bar is just a straight up bar yeah but a lot of these places also serve food yeah mm-hmm. um so i found a lot of places i really like like um on broadway i think is what it is there's white dog white dog yes. is so good white dog is yes. very good i've gone like, yeah. they have good cat, like it used to be called white dog black cat i do know that i have heard that and now it's he's just heard white the tea. Dog. he's heard the tea. well i don't know the tea i just know that they had an old name they did have an old i don't know the yeah. tea i don't know the either. tea either but oh. yeah. i just I know they, they changed names i think they just thought it was too long yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> like, maybe there's two animals we just have one animal yeah exactly they have a big board meeting about it cat's too much they had <laughs> they had a white dog and a black cat both sitting there, and they're like, "Sorry, we have to let one of you go." <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the cat is still. On the floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw it in the food line the other day. It was, it was a rough shape. Begging for scraps. Yeah. It, it, it needed a bath. It was not good. <laughs> <laughs> um, we actually went to White Dog this summer with my family, and they have some fire cups. Mm. Their yeah. their cups. Yeah. Um, it was like the the dog in Wisconsin, and then it had like Green Bay on it. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, I totally. I was like, dude, I didn't. I didn't. I I'm past my petty thievery days. Katie, and, open uh, your purse quick. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I did say that, and then the the um uh the the person taking care of us, the waitress, came over, and I was just like. 
Can I take these? <laughs> and this one. This one. <laughs> the brunch there is very good. Maybe two. I need a set, actually. Oh, <laughs> I took four. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. Hey. <laughs> well, so <laughs> you asked, though? Uh, yeah, because I got my kids two kitty cocktails, and that's what they. Oh. So. I'm, a kitty cocktail is also something I've. Never That's not. Of yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah, like I have I, you tried one? I, well, it's it's like a Shirley Temple, isn't it? Yeah, same thing. See, name. Yeah, so yeah, I had yeah. it, yeah. Shirley and like Temple. people kept telling me kitty cocktails. I'm like, no, it's the same thing as a Shirley that? Temple. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I was blown away when I started here because I my my go to drink is Dirty Shirley. Okay, and yeah. so then yeah. it makes sense that Shirley Temple is like the non-alcoholic yeah. version of that. Oh, for sure. But then people also order a kitty cocktail. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> I just don't get the name, I guess. We're not that bougie here. They're just kitty cocktails. <laughs> it's a cocktail for a kid. Kitty? Kitty cocktail. <laughs> oh. I'm going to tell you, I've, I've always thought it was K-I-T-T-Y. No, K-I-D-D-I-E. Okay. Well, kitty. That, that's where the miscommunication <laughs> was. <laughs> we have bridged the gap. Look at us bridging culture on the 920 show. I love you're it. Welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the, that is one place that's awesome. Mm-hmm. There's a bunch of really great restaurants. Yeah. If you want some recommendations, hit mm-hmm. us up after. We'll, Absolutely. We'll let you know. Com. Last question. Okay. Unless Katie has anything. No, go ahead. You suck at ice skating, dude. <laughs> yeah, no, I did. That's, that's, that's not that a question. So but funny. <laughs> not too much of a I question, like, but I'll take that. Oh, my word. I yeah, no, it's bad. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand how people do it. Yeah. Like, the whole time, my ankles, like, were bending <laughs> outwards. I'm well, like, that's the key. You got to keep Yeah, no, I couldn't figure that straight. part out. <laughs> no? no? So, you guys, there is, I'm just, you have ice rinks in North Carolina, right? Yeah, but it's like... I don't really do it. It's not really. A, it's not centers. like a recreation. No, thing. not really. Pond hockey. Do you guys do pond hockey? Is that Dude. just playing on like frozen? Yeah. Well, no. See, bodies of water don't freeze. In oh yeah, I suppose. Oh yeah. Duh. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> I makes suppose. sense. I suppose. <laughs> well, it's uh, <laughs> north is in the name. I yeah, assume yeah. like north means. Maybe. So like, no. what is the average temperature there? I would say okay. So about this time of year, it's probably floating. Floating. From like. <laughs> from Funny. like yeah. Forty to like. 28. So today's not that bad for you. No. Today's great. Today's fine. Today's sunny and warm, which is a rare February combination. And And I've always been able to like withstand the cold. Yeah pretty good. Yeah. So I'm I like enjoy this weather. So do you think you'll learn to ice skate? I want to. Okay. But okay. It looks like there's a large hill I have to climb first. Yeah, you know, (laughs) um they have the things at Title Town that you can hold on to. Maybe do the biking, the ice biking that they have. Oh yeah. That could be a solution. But yeah, I was too prideful to get the (laughs) <laughs> I was like, Would rather fall. like there's, I there's seen, no way <laughs> I have seen much older people than you yeah using, exactly using that but I guess that's you know it's weird the things that we kind of take for granted because mm-hmm. like I grew up you know we there's a, a local park that just mm-hmm. fills up a mm-hmm. they put out some boards and they fill it up with water mm-hmm. and throw yeah. a throw a net out there yeah. and like pick up hockey for us yeah. was like pick up basketball. That's, for kids go crazy. That sound, uh, that's very foreign to me, but I think that sounds very cool. Dude, MacArthur it was Park. So, it yeah. was so yeah. cool. We would go to uh, we would go to um, Legion and De Pere. Yeah. Um, it was awesome. So it'd be a group there. Once once like enough people were there, you all throw your sticks in mm-hmm. the middle. One guy closes his eyes and gets down and just throws the sticks in separate directions <laughs> to get the teams. And, uh-huh. Yeah, and the goal like obviously we goalie gear is so expensive we didn't have yeah. we didn't have goalies so just like we just no 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 no, <laughs> no we just uh you put um you put up um targets in the corners mm. in the back of the net so to score a goal you, you don't just to, yeah okay. put it in the net you yeah. have to get it you have to hit the target okay so. that's see that's really yeah. cool yeah because yeah. hockey is not big down south like it's oh, very yeah. much it's like not a thing. like yeah. hi, like i don't know any high schools that do hockey or any really? oh, my word. Like, very seldomly do have i seen any college stuff if you want hockey. some if you love if you like gambler games mm-hmm. go check out um, at Cornerstone, mm-hmm. uh, St. Norbert's oh, hockey yeah, team okay. is one of the best in the country. You know, I think I've heard that. Yeah. The Pier, the, like, there's tons of them. The Pier Voyagers. There's yeah. tons of like rec mm. you can go yep. watch. It's okay. super cool. Yeah. Yeah, but the, but St. Norbert games, I'm telling you, these like it is. And they're actually – these guys are a little bit – like gamblers players have then gone on to St. Norbert. Okay. Yeah. So it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a smaller venue uh-huh. and stuff. But the – like – and they've won – I mean, Tom Coughlin, they're um, – uh, their coach is like the winningest NCAA hockey coach. Really? Like he's up there with like some wow. of the best D1 coaches. They're That's really, impressive. really good. My yeah. um, my nephew does hockey mm-hmm. and they start their kids at two years old. Yep. Oh my God. As soon as two, you can walk. You start That's at two with, with learn to skate. Yeah. Yep. And, they, skate. and they get uh, proper skate because there's different techniques for like figure skating yeah. and, and hockey. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. My wow. nephew started at two. This is, that's him. 
Oh, let me see. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Look we'll at him. Yeah. Anyway. Look at him go. I digress. <laughs> I, any opportunity I can to show. There you go. Yeah. I, I am a hockey fan though. I do like like I'm from North Carolina, so I love the yeah. Hurricanes. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. And that was one thing I was very surprised of moving to Wisconsin. That, that there's not a hockey. There's team? not a hockey team. You wanna? I I don't know if this is a hundred percent true, but we're gonna go ahead and just say it. I've heard that that is because of the Blackhawks' greediness when it comes to TV markets. Mm. Um, they were mm. considering moving a team to Wisconsin. I'm not sure if it was Green Bay, Milwaukee, Madison. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, the Blackhawks shut it down and said they didn't want they didn't mm. want to have to share the regional TV Space, market. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, anyway. it's not like there's a another Green Bay Packers team here already. I know, <laughs> I know. So it's, I I would, oh, I would I would love to yeah. have an NHL That'd team because so cool. I was very willing to switch my allegiance. Oh really? Hurricanes. Yeah, okay. I'm like, well, like I want to okay. like dive into this new yeah. place that I'm moving. Yeah. But there wasn't one to switch. So now I'm still gonna be a Brad Hurricanes fan. You know what? I like it. <laughs> Stick with it. <laughs> you know, that for you. it's tough to jump ship, and yeah. you, know, you have to buy all new clothes. And yeah, yeah it's, it's not. Yep. Um. All right. Cool. Well, I think we are. We'll get you out of here, man. I know sure. you. Uh, have you? I think you said you work this I afternoon. Do work this and afternoon, yeah. So go go check them out at the Packer Pro Shop and say what's up. Otherwise, uh, find them on TikTok at. I'm going to forget it now. Big old Seth. Seth. Yeah, there we go. You can't forget it. You can't forget it. (laughs) At Big old Seth on TikTok. Follow his journey, man. We're we're, uh, super happy to have you on the show, and welcome to the community. Uh, Hope you stick around for a while. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was a fun one. I'm excited for for the journey. Yeah, Yeah. for sure. All right. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Yep. And welcome back to the – I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Like Katie said, welcome back to the 920 <laughs> show and the event segment here in the Edge VR studios. Studio. Oh, uh, oh. You can peep the logo back there. We were just talking with Sean and big old Seth about uh, the Rocket League tournaments that they are running. Um, so yeah. catch that stream live tonight. No. When did he say it was? This weekend. This yeah. weekend, maybe? I, fr- I am so sorry, Sean. I don't know. We'll get it right. But... Coming up, you can watch the Rocket League tournament powered by Edge, uh, Edge VR yeah. on the Title Town um, Facebook pages. It'll be live there. Yes. Um, guess who's going to bust out his PS4 and try some Rocket League? Me. Hmm. You, you don't love that for me? <laughs> I mean, good for you. Yeah? Yeah, I hope you go off, Nick. I probably won't actually do that. Because I just can't picture you doing that. Because it's not a fat like I do enjoy video games. Like they're they're a decent you know they're a good pastime. Yeah. You know whatever. I just I don't have the time. Last night I was actually watching a TikTok of three characteristics of millionaires. What the heck did you just say? Three characteristics of millionaires. Oh. Okay. And it was like give up. Well, it had he said two things, and his last thing was give up a time sucking um, activity. Oh. So I'm thinking to myself. How Netflix, about watching TikTok? Netflix. No, that's market research. I will not give that up. (laughs) I refuse to give that up. So, (laughs) what if the government pries it from your cold, dead hands? I will do reels (laughs) at that point. I don't care. Oh my gosh, that is too funny. The way you just said market research. It is. Yeah, that's market research, Nick. Okay. Well, should we take a look at the events this week and get these people on their <laughs> yeah, way? Yeah, let's go. This episode, I feel like, has gone it is off hefty. the rails. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to trim some down. Anyway, go ahead. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Um, I think it's the last candlelight walk this weekend. I would agree. Yeah, I think it is the last candlelight hike at, out at Barkhausen Waterfowl Preserve. So check that out. It is so pretty. Have you seen those pictures? Um. Yes, I have. And looks iconic. Yeah. I am. I. Yeah. I would love to do it. Yeah. So I th- I believe, what is this weekend? This weekend is the eleventh. Oh yeah, it's Valentine's Day. <gasps> before we record again, oh. What are we doing with our significant others this weekend? Can I make a confession? Nick, if you tell me you're not doing anything for your wife, I'm literally gonna start a riot. So I'm totally gonna do, do something for her. We I always we have a tradition of what I get her, and she looks forward to it. But it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I wouldn't share that on the internet. <laughs> that it's my birthday? Just kidding. What are you doing for your birthday? I don't know yet. I was thinking. What is it on the 13th? A Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, it's a Tuesday. Um, I was thinking, I don't know yet. But here's the thing. I don't like cake. I don't know. So either. I'm definitely not doing cake. I don't either. Um, but I love ice cream cake, so I'll probably do that. 
I just saw an ice cream cake, a personal, oh man, I don't know where it was, but they, they give you a personal in a cup, uh, ice cream cake. Oh. And I, oh, it looks oh, so I good. Need I saw that. it on our Instagram. Okay. And now I have to do some research and find where All it right. was. New assignment. Yes. Do that. Okay. Find so that. So what are you guys doing? Are you guys doing now. anything for Valentine's Day? Mm, I think we're gonna go out to dinner on Valentine's, like on that, tu- on on Tuesday. that Tuesday. Yeah. Where, where, where are the Valentine spots? And by the way, make your reservations now. Yeah, people. for sure. <laughs> um, I don't know where I'm gonna pick yet. You got, you got to pick like before. I, I know this like, airs the, bef- because yeah. places will fi- know, are going to be filled up. I know. Up. I know. Um, I honestly don't know. It's so hard to pick ahead of time. It's so difficult. Because what am I going to be in the mood for? I know. Am I going to feel yeah. pasta? Am I going to yeah. feel steak? Am I going to yeah. feel... You never yeah. know. Yeah, Republic is always a good option. Mm-hmm. But and I do really want to try Manja- Man- Manjari. Angelina. Yes. Um, There's so many. Tavern in the Sky. So many good options. And you honestly don't even have to like flex and do like an expensive place. There's so Ooh, many. you know what would be a vibey Valentine's Day spot? What? Copper State. That would be. Yeah. Yeah, there's tons. I also have a new liking to still makes um, the guava. Guava juiced. Remember when we saw it at, at it was Anduzzi's yeah. and we saw it there for the first time mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. Whatever. Yeah. No, I'm obsessed with it now. It's so good. But you're not a beer girl. That's literally the only one I'll drink. <laughs> I swear to God. Well, here's an idea for you. Um, <laughs> you're going to kill me. Uh, I'll, I'll send this Did over. Did you say the wedding show or if I <laughs> Yes, it was the wedding show. <laughs> I'll send it over to Deacon. Don't We're worry. already going. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Where that's at the Rush Expo. Uh, On the tenth. Does it roll into? I don't think so. Yeah, it does until the eleventh. Yeah, two days. Oh, yeah. Check that out. It's wedding season. Oh my word, that's yeah. crazy. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> it is. Um, uh, there's lots of like film things going on. Like there's like what is Frozen Firkins Winter, Winter Beer, Beer Festival. Festival? At Badger, Badger State. State. I don't know what a firkin is. Let's explore. <laughs> a firkin? Am I pronouncing that right I even? I think so. We're back in the lab concocting more limited edition beers, Asian infused with special ingredients. Whoa. Uh, these boozy big beers will be sure to help you warm as we hang out in the frozen tundra of our beer garden. Um, hello. One time only brews. You're kidding. That's a When flex. is this? BRB because I want to go. 12 to 3 p.m. on February 11th. Oh, um, also National Railroad has their Rails and Ales Brewfest. Oh, sick. So much men's and women's basketball going on right now. UWGB shout out. Yep. Got Gamblers. Their, got a big win against the Milwaukee Panthers this past week. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, women, uh, UWGB women are, of course, out at the Crest Event Center on UWGB's campus. And the men are at the Resch Center uh, mm-hmm. in Ashwaubenon. Um, there's something going on at the Ashwaubenon Performing Arts, the Tribute to the Beatles. Oh, that could, sounds fun. That sounds kind of fire, honestly. Yeah. And Who, uh, uh, Brit Beat, a tribute Brit to the Beatles. Beat. I yeah, love I that. I don't know. Um, okay. Yeah. Lots of stuff. Greenbay.com slash events. Check it out. You can find me at Badger State. Probably. Catch me at Badger State, catch me, he says. Catch me at Badger State. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. All righty. Let's wrap this thing up. Uh, Katie, hit them with the socials. At Discover Green Bay on Insta, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, and Discover G-R-N-B-A-Y and Twitter. Find more of our blogs and content and itineraries and ideas on greenbay.com. Mm-hmm. Hit us all up there. Uh, shoot us a message if you have an idea, anything like that. We're happy to hear. Yep. Um, and we hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, most importantly, get out there and discover Green Bay. See y'all. See ya.